Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my little tutorial about how to use the AMD Adrenaline software to perfectly capture your in-game footage without losing any performance while playing the game and recording a buttery smooth experience. Now today we're just talking about capturing gameplay. For other types of videos I use different tools. If you're interested in that just let me know in the comments. Now as you can see I already opened the AMD Adrenaline software and at the home screen there is a record a video button. But before we hit this we want to adjust a few things. And while this is a great tool for recording your in-game footage it has a few shortcomings. And let's say the navigation through the menus is... Uh, it has room for improvement. So before you hit the record a video button hit the gaming tab and it doesn't matter there if you hit global graphics or global display. You just want the second row of tabs here in the menu and you go to general and here you will find 95% of the settings you need to adjust your video recording. So first thing on top is media safe location where you can just choose a folder where you want to save your footage. Make sure you have enough hard drive space available. Now the next three options are not really important um, for recording an in-game session. And the next thing here is audio capture device. Now if you want to comment on your gameplay footage while playing the game, you have to choose the right microphone here, whatever you have plugged into your PC. Now if you want to record yourself while playing the game, under video capture device, choose the right camera that you have plugged into your PC. From here we are heading down to the recording options. On top you will find record desktop. This must be enabled because this is really how your gameplay is recorded when you tap into the game. Show indicator is disabled and borderless region capture is enabled. So the next settings here are resolution and frames per second. I usually record the resolution in game. But you can also choose a lower resolution if you want or need to. Same thing goes for frames per second. I usually capture my in-game footage with 60 frames per second, but if you want to choose 30 frames per second, absolutely no problem here. Now video encoding type. There are two standards here. The older AVC and the more modern or more recent HEVC. I choose HEVC because there's really no quality difference, but there's a big difference in how big the files are that you are recording. So for example, I recorded a 10 second example just before I started this video. So with AVC this 10 second file is 10.8 megabyte in size and with HEVC the file is 2.26 megabytes. So it's a huge difference here. Video bitrate and audio bitrate. Now this affects of course the quality of your recording but it also affects the size of the files you are recording and if you want to later upload it to YouTube you have to find a sweet spot between file size and quality. I would recommend playing around with this. I think it is perfectly cool not to max out everything but I have enough space available and I have the time for the uploads and I have a pretty strong internet connection so it's no problem for me. But you can adjust this to a lower setting without losing too much quality here. Just play around with the settings, record a few test sessions and then you can see where you find your middle ground. Here's something important. Separate microphone track. If you just want to record your in-game without commenting on it, you can leave this disabled. But if you are making comments on your gameplay, make sure you have a separate microphone track. Because later on, if the gameplay footage is too loud and your voice is hardly to hear, in the editing software you have two different tracks and you can adjust the volume of your in-game footage. You can't do this if you have this option disabled. Record microphone, enable or disable. Just as I said, if you want to make comments or not. Now next up we have a few settings for your microphone, but keep in mind you also have your Windows 10 settings and maybe a few settings on the microphone itself. So this is just one way to adjust your microphone input level. Next up we have live streaming, we don't need this and that's all. That's all of the basic settings that you need to capture your gameplay. 
Now there's one thing left. If you want to record yourself with a camera and show this footage within the gameplay. We will have to adjust the camera settings for this. So hit the streaming tab and go to scene editor. And here you can see I already have enabled a camera. You can disable it here, enable it, choose the opacity. You can rearrange the camera and also change the size. Now here are a few shortcomings of this software. If you record your gameplay and capturing your camera footage, it is one track. Means you cannot adjust the camera later on. Like I can do right now while using the Wondershare demo creator, I can place the camera here, here or here. So that it's not interfering with the menus that I show you. So you have to choose where to place the camera beforehand so that you are not hiding any important gameplay features. You cannot adjust it later. This is important to know. And this is maybe one of the shortcomings of this software. So now, after you adjusted your under streaming, scene editor, camera settings, and under gaming, global display, general, your recording settings, you can go back to the home screen, hit the record button, and enjoy perfectly smooth gameplay experience and a perfect recording of your gameplay. And as I said before, for different types of videos I use different tools. For example, if I do my talking head videos or making tutorials like this. If you are interested in what kind of hardware you need, what kind of software, on what topics you have to educate yourself before you do your first video like lighting and stuff like this, please let me know in the comments. I would gladly make a video about this. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If that is the case, please subscribe and hit the like button. And don't forget, take good care of yourself.